Hey, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the 2013 uh, NHL playoffs, and we are talking right now with Dave Golikov, senior sports columnist for AskMen.com and very regular SBR contributor. Dave, thanks for being back with us. Good to see you, Peter. All right, we're going to talk about the uh, the Sharks and the Canucks, and this is a this is a kind of an interesting line here. The Canucks are minus one twenty nine to win the series. Sharks are a plus one seventeen on the other side. Canucks, of course, have the home ice edge, so this is a very competitive line here. Uh, in general, the Canucks are uh, healthier than they've been uh, for much of the year, although there have been some rumors about uh, Corey Schneider uh, maybe having some injuries, maybe missing some time. Although Luongo, uh, you know, could be uh, just an equally uh, effective replacement. Um, I think that I would add the, the problem here, though, is that the San Jose Sharks for many years now, of course, have been one of the most unpredictable teams in all of hockey. You just you just never know what they're going to You look at this year, they started out phenomenally, then they couldn't win a game, and then they got a little bit better. So you never quite know what's going to happen with the Sharks. I think I would take the Canucks minus 129 if I had to make a bet here. What do you think, Dave Galagoff? Well, I think this is like uh, slim pickings. If we're handicapping this series, it reminds me of like, I'm trying to take home a girl and it's uh, last call at the bar. You just look around the room and, uh, you know, the choices aren't particularly good. Okay. Uh, I will say right off the bat, there's better series to bet yeah. in round one, but, you know, this is what we do at SBR. We go through all of them. <laughs> this matchup is a complete mess. Yeah. You've got San Jose, who this year, Peter, yeah. has won. They have two se separate seven-game winning streaks, yeah. yet they also lost 16 of 21. They had a stretch where they lost 16 <laughs> right. of 21. Yeah. The flip side, you've got a Canucks team that has two separate six-game winning streaks, so you think the team's pretty good, eh? Well, they also lost nine of 12 uh, and you know enter the playoffs on a slump uh, themselves. You know, the Canucks, I, I call this the pink slip series. <laughs> the window of opportunity is past both of these teams. Neither of these teams are winning the cup. And whichever team loses in the first round is going to be firing their head coach. Mm -hmm. That we do know. As far as this matchup, I, you know, it, it really comes down to anti Niemi for me. Right. And that's the Sharks goaltender. He's a Vezina Trophy candidate. He's the one thing that the Sharks do have. Um, and I think having one elite goaltender... Uh, is better than two average guys. We, we've seen it with the Canucks. When they don't have that steady rock in net, this team is a mess in the playoffs. They don't have that again. They would like to go with Corey Schneider. He's got some kind of mysterious body injury. We don't know, is he, is he fine? Maybe he's fine. Maybe he's going to play. Maybe the coach is just being coy. Maybe he's actually hurt and Roberto Luongo is going to come in. Beyond that, what happens if Schneider starts and he gets bombed? Do you pull him? Do you put in a Luongo? I'm telling you, Peter, the theme of this playoffs is it's kind of like in college football. When you have two average quarterbacks and you're interchanging these bums, yeah. it really means that you don't have one good quarterback. And that's what you know. teams like the Vancouver Canucks have that. Uh, you're you're going to see it maybe from the Chicago Blackhawks. They have two guys they've been alternating all year. Anaheim, these teams are all ripe for upsets because they don't have one elite guy. The Canucks are the same Again, we're splitting hairs between two crappy, inconsistent teams. I'll go with the team that has the better, more reliable goaltender. Yeah, maybe just uh, betting on a seven-game series might, have, might be the best way to go here. Yeah, well, I do like San Jose here, to be mm -hmm. honest. Um, a, they're a road underdog. Uh, B, Canucks starting at home is a disaster. You don't, you know, Canucks lose one of these two games. I'm telling you, the media in Vancouver is going to go berserk. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the pressure at least starts in Vancouver. I don't think that's a good thing. Right. Sharks have one of the best home ice uh, records in the NHL, if you can believe that. Uh, it's a very inconsistent team, but at home they've been phenomenal. <laughs> they can steal one game in this series on the road. They're probably winning. Right. I hear you. And, and a lot of times the Sharks, it's like when the expectations are high, that's when they completely come in and crap the bed. And when the expectations are low, that's when they suddenly start to do well. Right now for this series, expectations are low. So what does that mean? You might be right there. Maybe value is on the Sharks. Thanks, Dave. Great preview.